Racing again before the end of the season? Going again, baby. Yeah, we're going to uh, Abu Dhabi in three weeks' time, so quick stop over on the Gold Coast and uh, a bit of training before that. And, uh, so much glamour. Then feet up, mate, feet up. So Feet up for six days and then back into right. it. All right. it. All right, follow me, Corey. Let's keep going. We're going to move over here and we're going to see if we can talk to some of these guys over here. Vasco, I know you, I know you always say you want to get interviewed when you got your shirt off, mate. How was that? It was beautiful. Hey? Uh, well, it has really not been my year, I, say, uh, I would say love the race love the place i would say so different the course is so different you know it was so hard to know what was going to happen uh, this year everything has happened to me of course today something else happened uh, my chain came off when i when i came off the bike on the first race put it in the rack the bike fell down went to grab it second time the chain was off had to stop put it back on catch up with the group again and there you go, it's another adventure. Everything happens to Vasco, doesn't it? Of course, life is an adventure, eh? <laughs> it, it does seem to be an adventure with you all the time. I think if hanging around with you, weird things would happen. So we're going to separate now until I see you next season. Congratulations on the 15 grand, though. You must be happy about that. Oh, of course, of course, yeah, very happy. All right, you share that with me tonight. We'll head over to Tim Don, who's with a few eagles. He's got a few rhinos. He's got all sorts of people. Tim? Hey, so I've got first timers. I've got Sergio Baxter here. I've got Sophia Green, Sean Rainsley. Sophia, how was Super League for you? It was an amazing experience. It's been pretty crazy r racing everywhere, but I've loved this opportunity. It's just been great, yeah. And fast, slow, kind of in the middle? Fast, so it's all been fast and not painful. Sergio, you missed Malibu, but you got six in the first race. Coming here, you look so good. How did you feel out there? Yeah, well, it's been a season full of ups and downs, but it's been Super great. League, what do you expect? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very fast and furious and anything can happen, but I'm really happy to finish on a high. Oh, brilliant. We love that, Sean. You were right up there for the swim. Um, just couldn't quite get it at the end. How was your season? Yeah, again, ups and downs. It's, yeah, very tough racing, so everyone gave it their best, and it's been good fun. I've got to bring Non in here. Non, this is your last race. You are retiring. I've seen you race some amazing, epic races. Yeah. What are you going to do with your time now? Um, I'm going to be looking after this lot. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, spending less time on the course and less side on the side of the not less time, more side on the time of the course. So I'm all getting all confused now. <laughs> more time on the side of the course, supporting this lot, and uh, yeah, hopefully helping them produce uh, some fantastic performances. You're not after my job, are you? Oh, I'd like it if you're up for it. <laughs> no way, I love it. I love it. So yeah, it's been great. Let's throw over to someone else who's got some people with them. Annie is over there as well. So let's see who she's got to talk to. Oh, thanks, Tim. Um, I'm here with my team, Team Cheetahs. So proud of you. It is an emotional day. Um, no one realises that I'm actually a complete wet blanket, so I've been crying under these glasses. Miriam Casillas from Spain, you have been awesome. Rachel Klama, will you miss this race with that really nasty fall, but thankfully you'll be back. Max Stapley, you'll be back. Saha, my favourite. Sorry. Aww. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Verena, awesome on the bike. Sophie pointed you out as like someone really incredibly up and coming on the bike. Johnny Brownlee, we love you as always. Rich Murray, the old dude here. Uh, you don't mind me saying that. I'm joking. You're much older than me. I am so much older than you. Richard, you've raced this series. You know Super League inside and out. How has this series been for you? Oh, it's been, it's gone so fast. That's the first thing I noticed. But to finish it here has been amazing. Uh, but I got a little bit better each time. And uh, yeah, managing to come back after having fallen on my ribs in Toulouse. So yeah, it was great fun. It was a good course and really thoroughly enjoyed it. So there's some stuff going on out here. Are we going to be doing the same afterwards? I'm not coming in, by the way, because I don't have a cosy. And I don't have bodies like you guys anymore. Um, Johnny Brownlee, how's it feel to be, like, really back? Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Obviously, it's been a, a very up and down year for me. I thought my season was basically over after Leeds. But, uh, yeah, to come back and uh, we'll get a silver medal today and bronze overall. Uh, my main aim is to keep on showing I'm not too old yet. And hopefully I've got uh, two years where I can keep that going. Sophie Colwell, she has a big day. Money to pay for it. Yeah, but if Tom asks, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I get married in two weeks today. Uh, yeah, two weeks today. So, yeah, back home after, yeah, amazing trip, uh, Bermuda, and then, yeah, get married. I think if anyone had watched your race today, they would have said, apart from Georgia Taylor Brown ran you down, that it was perfect execution from the start to finish. The transitions were absolutely the finest I've ever seen. Yeah, I've never got a short shoe, never got swim points or anything like that in the series. So, yeah, kind of, yeah, it all came together today and, yeah, executed a, a good race, ended up on the series podium as well. Great stuff. Congratulations, my wonderful team. Hopefully we will all be back together again next year. Will, it's over to you.
Thanks, Annie. Oh, you can just see behind me, the boys are just cooling off and, and mucking around. Like, it, the season's over, they've basically finished, but you can just see how much everyone enjoys each other's company. And I've got a group over here as well, starting with Tyler. Tyler, now, look, you ruined a black carpet, man. Hey, what, I saw what you had for breakfast today on television. You all right? It doesn't taste as good the second time, I'll tell you <laughs> that for sure, yeah. But a, an, an epic race from you and a great finish, and you just you squeaked the Scorpions over the line, you and Kenji. Yeah, two points, hey, but it's every point through the whole series. Like, you go back and you think of every single point. I mean, 99% of them came from Georgia. <laughs> One percent. Yeah, true, true, that's true. But uh, every single point counts, you know, every single effort, and that's what MG was yelling at us all day, One point, one point, and... Uh, two points in the end, yeah. If MG's yelling at you, you pretty much have got to do exactly what he says. What about you, Chase? How did you finish in seventh overall? How have you enjoyed Super League as a whole? Oh, yeah, Super League's just been absolutely amazing. Such a good experience. Being able to mix it up with some of the best guys in the world, like, yeah, this is a dream of mine. So uh, even though, yeah, let the team down a little bit today, like, such a good experience overall. Couldn't be happier. And, Timmy, you got the champ is here. I'll let you talk to the champ. Georgia, Matt, it's always a pleasure watching you race. And out there today, you didn't leave it to chance. You took it from the front. And, um, yeah, it's just great to see that. And were you worried? Were you, were you worried about um, the rhinos coming up? <laughs> yes. Was that nervous now? Like? Yeah, really nervous. <laughs> uh, no, I just kept my eye on Taylor all day, I guess, and played it safe and did what I needed to do and then put um, a surgeon on the final run. And, yeah, I managed to break away and it held off. It's a very tactical today. Yes, quite tactical. More in the tank? Uh, no, there was nothing left in Could me. Could you race the game with the men? Yeah, definitely. More points, <laughs> more points there for the Scorpions, there really is. And Chase, you were right up there for the swim. And what happened at the end? You, went, you, you were right there, Frella. Yeah, I know. I mean, Jamie, that guy's lights out. In the pool and open water, that guy is an amazing swimmer. So, yeah, i got to pay my respect to him, no doubt. There he is. Thanks, Jamie, come in, oh, come no. in, come in, mate. No, 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 no. What's going on? Easy, Eagle, easy. <laughs> Swim, the fastest swim. How does that feel? Whole of Super League, first time doing the series, and you're a fish. Yeah, in a world full of sharks, be an eagle. I'm just happy to uh, take away this from Jersey. Yeah, very, very stoked. Uh, but yeah, couldn't mate, have it's it great to see. And obviously, you got your, your, your top down. You're in the water, in your element. You love it. I love it as well. Brilliant, boys, come in, come in, come in. All the eagles are coming in. Georgia, what do you think about this flock of eagles here? Uh, I'm not intimidated at all. The least threatening <laughs> flock of eagles yeah. of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a flock of seagulls. It really is. It really is. <laughs> and yeah, it was just great out there. So Georgia, um, yeah, no. And we're going to go over to Will. I do that to throw over to Annie because she's got the big bosses, all of our bosses over there. Annie is with Leonid Bogoslavsky, the chairman, and also Michael Dolce, the CEO and uh, co-founder. Annie? Leonid, chairman. Leonard chairman of Super League. What are your thoughts overall on this series? It's been absolutely fantastic, hasn't it? Yeah, I think uh, for sure it was uh, the best season for us and uh, the, whole, uh, the whole series, so five events, uh, it was great just great and uh, today event was special it was really awesome uh, it's a it's a great venue uh, very unusual I would say and also uh, interesting country nice people here so we've been very lucky and happy racing here and providing this event uh, here in Neom it's a uh, it's a big deal for us it has certainly been that. Michael DeHoss, can you, can you breathe now? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's, yeah, this why it's been a long time coming, and I think, in, like, like Leonid is saying, it's our first, uh, fourth season. And, um, yeah, three events that we already know, that we've done before, which, which were great, but two very interesting additions with Toulouse. Uh, fantastic turnout in Toulouse. So many people have never seen so many tri uh, people at a triathlon event. And then here, yeah, I've, I was here the first time in 2019 and we flew over this region and, and I said, oh, this is a nice spot, we should do it here. Since then, done three, uh, three more site visits, COVID came along and it's been pushed, pushed, shoved and everything has happened and now we're finally here. And yeah, still the venue that we saw the first time out of the helicopter and now we think, okay, this is great. We've done here and it was a fantastic event, so we're very excited. Congratulations, you two, on an absolutely brilliant series. We're going to pass over to Tim Don now. Got the man 
I've got the man who was going for the bike jersey, and on that first race, you went all over the place, and you had a big off. What happened? Talk us through it, fella. I was just trying to go like for the first leg of the bike, just hard as I can. And when I see it like that, I'm not the first one of the group like that. I was making sure that I was taking the bike points. I was just trying to fly over the line. Peter Sagan, Peter weaving Sagan for weaving for Yeah, Peter Sagan slide or Kevin this style. And I was just like crashing for the barricade. And hey, listen, I've got to interrupt you. The CEO, Michael Dolst, is going in. Buchek, Buchek, your team manager has been in the water. Why don't you go and join him, fella? We have loved chatting to you here. Michelle Michelle, yeah. you have lost the series, but you have won second place and you have won the overall with Hayden. Beth had a storming race today as well. How does it feel to be the team manager? Yeah, I feel fantastically happy. I mean, look, I, we would love to have won today. Um, um, it was literally one to two points, I think. I heard one point, then I heard two points. That's nothing. Two points, two points. Two points, that's nothing. I mean, that's literally like a win in my books. Over anyway. 280 points, that is nothing. That's nothing. Over five races, I mean, that's literally nothing. It's come right down to the wire. I'm so proud of my team today. Um, there was a few people that didn't, you know, have the race that they'd liked, and maybe that would have elevated us to, you know, to the win today, but you know, racing's racing. I know that I've been a professional athlete myself. I know what it feels like to maybe not have that, such a good day. And you know, to, for Hayden to still win the the overall series, Beth had a storm as she was on the podium. I, I'm happy. Let's team. talk about I'm your happy. your backroom staff. The man behind <laughs> you, Stewie Hayes. He's your assistant <laughs> manager. He's mag the magic man, Stu. Talk to me. Is he? he I thought he was going to pull it out of the hat. I really did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, he, he he really did a good job with the athletes today. I mean, he's, you know, giving them the water and stuff. I mean, I was doing a little bit of commentary as well, so it was difficult for me to always interact with the athletes and stuff as I'd liked. But, you know, um, yeah, we worked as a team. We, we, we've always been a really strong team, and that's why we're in the position to, like, you know, fight for that win today because we've worked so well as a team throughout, both the managers, me, Stewie, and... All I could learn a thing or two, couldn't I? Yeah. I need to teach you a few things, Tim. I mean, you, you oh. left last year, but now what's happening? Did, when when oh. did you finish today? Oh, we finished fourth, so I'll take okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Will, Will is over there with some more athletes, so we're okay. going to go, go and go and see what he's up to. I'm not, right, I'm cool. not just here. I'm not just here with some more athletes. I'm here with Sophie Coldwell, who was running down the finishing shoot, and Georgia Taylor Brown like this. And how did Sophie? What was your face? <laughs> not quite as composed as George. <laughs> you were so close. She took it from you at the end. She stole it. But she did, like, give me some motivation as she came past, so, like... You well, know, she had enough breath to be like, you're doing great to nearly beat me. Her exact words were, come on, so fast feet, fast feet. But, you know, she is one of, the, well, one of the best runners we've got in triathlon, and I'm not one of the best runners we have in triathlon. So, yeah, I played the cards as I needed and sat them in my favour and then had some GTB encouragement as she flew past me 100 metres to the finish. You must be stoked, though, with that, to, to round out the season at Super League here. You've threatened and threatened. You, took your, you uh, secured your place on the podium, and, oh, no, look at this. So Stu's going in. Have a look at that. Yeah, the, the boys, the boys are not letting him get away with it. He's going to go in the water. The team manager for the Sharks. Maybe if you'd have won, Stu, you wouldn't be getting chucked in the water, pal. Oh well, he's asking for his wife to help him. That's a bit interesting. What? Yeah, I know. Well, so before we go, to, before I go to these guys, this kind of stuff, it, it just. It's a family environment, like it's something that hasn't changed since we first started. It must be nice to go on a trip like this. You basically, like Non said, you're just with all your mates, like having fun. Yeah, like you obviously we've raced so much in the last couple of weeks and we've travelled around together and you've got the team aspect where everyone buys into and I just think everyone just builds relationships that you wouldn't build in any other way. So, yeah, it's more than just racing for us. It's like the friendships that you build outside of it with people that you probably wouldn't get that close to elsewhere. Except for the now frosty relationship between you and Georgia. <laughs> Nah, she's, she's all right. I'll keep her as a good friend. Thank you so much, Sophie, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, that nearly brings us to the end, I suppose, and congratulations to both of you for, um, for your efforts as team managers and also for, for helping out on the telecast as well. It's been a fantastic couple of months, no? I think I'm slightly, I'm, I'm ecstatic, I'm emotional, I'm a bit broken, um, but this has just been an incredible series, it truly has, and when we pulled up here yesterday to this site, I just went, 30 years, never seen anything like it, and Neom has definitely not disappointed. It hasn't, has it? It's been a beautiful place, and I said it on the telecast, it's like desolate, but it's beautiful in its own way, and I think it's been... It's just another bit of ground broken for Super League, Tim. Absolutely. We've got, we've got to, to keep, keep the gravel. gravel. Next year, we've got to keep that gravel. The shots as well of the lunar, moon, scant landscape was just amazing. 
I wish there was a sixth race. I, know. I would. I'm miss I, it. I, I, I feel I'd bereft be now. It's all over. Yeah. I'm not sure if the athletes would be. I'm absolutely buckled, and I'm done anything except for lollies and sit in the commentary box. How are you? Will? Nobody ever asked me that. How are you? Nobody worries about me. No, it's fine. I've just had like three Snickers bars, so I'm absolutely flying. 2023 is going to be bigger and better, than, and I've seen a pro provisional calendar, and it looks packed. Absolutely packed. Um, I can't wait. Like, how long have we got to go before it Not all starts long. all over again? Not as long as you would think, actually. And it all 26th kicks off, of February. Uh, yeah, in Montreal. That's going to be something different. Oh, it's going to be great to go over across the pond and, and yeah, see, see how the race unfolds there. Um, yeah, I say bring it on. Yeah, every two weeks it goes Montreal, Switzerland, Singapore, London for Arena Games. And it's only going to start in February as well. So it's going to be incredible. Thank you to both of you for being on the journey over the last uh, couple of months. It's been a pleasure. Uh, and we'll see you all after Christmas. Take yeah. it easy. Yeah, all right. We need to take it easy. We're going to wrap it up from down here in Neon. We hope you've enjoyed everything that Super League has offered. Stick on superleaguetriathlon.com for all the announcements coming up for season 2023.